as usual, the first thing that we do before we start trying to exploit or find any vulnerabilities, we do information gathering. So we try to gather as much information as possible about the target. And web applications are no different. So we're going to start by trying to get as much information as we can about the target IP address, the domain name info, the technologies used on the website, so what programming language is used, what kind of server is installed on it, what kind of database is being used. Uh, we're going to gather information about the company, the DNS records, and we'll also see if we can find any files that are not being listed or any subdomains that are not visible to other, to other people. Now you can use any of the information gathering tools that we used before. For example, you can use Maltigo and just insert an entity as a website and then start running actions or transformers just like we've seen in the Maltigo video. I'm not gonna be explaining that because it's exactly the same as we did it with a normal person. So I'm gonna be skipping through that. You can also use ZenMap like we did before or even Nexpose and test the infrastructure of the website and see what, what information you can gather from that. Again, I won't be going over that because we've seen it. There is no difference between a website or a normal computer. As I said, a website is just another computer. So what I'm going to be focusing on is technologies that you'll only see in websites such as domain names, DNS records and stuff like that, that you won't be able to use or we haven't seen before in the previous videos. So the first thing that we're going to have a look on is WhoisLookup. WhoisLookup is a protocol that's used to find owners of internet resources. For example, a server, an IP address or a domain. So we're actually not hacking or doing anything. We're literally just retrieving info from a database that contains information about owners of stuff on the internet. So for example, when you sign up, when you sign up for a domain name, if you wanted to register a domain name for yourself, for example, zaid.com, when I do that, I have to supply information about myself, my address, and then the name will be stored in my own name and people can see that Zaid owns this domain name. So this is all we're going to do. If you Google Who's Lookup, you'll see a lot of websites providing the service. So I'm using who's.domaintools.com and I'm just gonna put my target domain name and I'm just gonna use isecurity.org. So as you can see, very simple and we get a lot of information about our target website. You'll see the email that you can use to contact the domain name info. Usually you'll be able to see the address of the company that has registered this domain name, but we can see that this company is using privacy on their domain, so you can't really see the address. But if they haven't, if they're not using privacy, you'll be able to see their address and more information about the actual company. You can see when the domain name was created. You can see the IP address of isecurity.org. So if you ping this, you should get this IP address and I'll show you. If I do ping isecurity.org, you'll see it's the same domain name here, same, same IP address here, sorry. You can see the IP location. We can see the status, obviously it's active. You can also access the history, but you need to register for that. And obviously we can see the title here and something that's very useful here, we can see that it's using Apache web server. So this is a software that can be used as a web server. And we can see that iSecurity uses this web server and it's of version 2.2.31. So again, we can use this to find exploits. Uh, we can see that it's using Unix, the operating system of the website of the server, and it's using the following add-ons as well, it's using mod SSL and open SSL. Now right here, you can find more information about the company who registered this domain. So again, iSecurity is using privacy, so you won't be able to see the address. You can see that it's saying that the target person is using uh, privacy protection. But usually you'll be able to see phone numbers and addresses of that company. So as you can see, very simple stuff. 
but it's very helpful in the long run just to know what's your target, what's their IP, what services are they using. We can also here, actually I didn't show you, you can see the name servers that are being used and we can see that they are provided by a company called Dimnov.net. Now if you go on Dimnov, you'll see that this is a hosting company. So if we go on the English version, that you'll see that this is a hosting company. And again, you can even use this hosting company and try to social engineer your way maybe into hacking into your target, into iSecurity.